positioning, so charge buffering and charge positioning. Mm. There's different forms of uh, charge partitioning and charge buffering. Uh, the proper definition for charge partitioning is where you split your charge. Basically, uh, you store a charge. Basically, you're storing one. In this game, charge moves no normally do normally store for like two seconds, I believe, a, a second and a half or so. So if you say, for example, if you hold the charge for for a tackle, and if you want to charge position it, you would you would do hold the charge for about a split second, dash, hold it again, and then do it. So mm, like that. So let me put the. Uh, You see it. Uh, hold it for at least one. Hold it for at least one. Ah. One. Like that too. So it's it's kind of weird to show like this, but um. Anyways, so for example, if you just do tackle tackle headbutt, you would uh. It's the, it's the same thing, even even if you used to buffer it with strong or, or something like that. But um. You can do you can hold it. Uh, like that. So you would say you would grab them. So hold it right here, one. And So, for example, if you get if you grab somebody, you know, and you got them in the corner, you know, you hold it down right here as soon as they, as soon as uh, urine hits the ground. So from here, as soon as your hits the ground, you hold it, dash up, and then low short into tackle. And you'll see that you get the charge position. One. So one, two, and then you get that. So from there, one, two. Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One, two. And then you can go into the ages. So that's one form of a of a charge partition that you can do. Basically, you're splitting your charge, and you know you do it at the next moment. Uh, when it comes to doing um, tackle, tackle, headbutt, you actually charge buffering. So you would do. Um, so you would hold down, down, back, and the fir the first tackle, you would go from forward, but to back, and then press the button. So you'll see that I do. So you'll see that I do that. I go I go into back and he does a tackle. So basically what that does is it store it stores the charge earlier than normal. So for example when you do this oops, sorry sorry you, know, you get two tackles out of it. And it becomes much easier to do the second tackle after you uh, buffer it that way so because all you would have to do is hold hold back and then go into forward I mean, excuse me hold me hold down back and then hold forward and you'll you'll get the second tackle so so 
So right here, I'm holding down back, forward to back, then forward again, and you get the second tackle. Down back, forward to back, and then forward again. Now the headbutt, in, normally the headbutt will automatically come out simply because you're holding down back for the first two tackles. Basically that's the charge partition part where, you know, you're holding down the two, the two down parts for the headbutt, you know, in between these two tackles. So you're storing the charge right there, and then as soon as you get the second tackle you can easily go into the headbutt and you'll be able to get it. So, that's a wait. So, if you watch closely, up the charges. Yeah, it's not. But for the most part, I tend to do. Uh, I tend to do just two tackles into a standing pierce because you know it just knocks them down right in front of me. It sets up the ages perfectly. But that's just me. Exactly. That's exactly what you do. So, for example, I'll show it. I'll show it again. You can see it. Hold back, forward to back, and then you press the button. So hold back. I'm holding back right now. Now this this technique is some, actually something that you also use with Remy. You know, for example, when if you watch uh, the Japanese player Piero, uh, you'll see that he actually does uh, like a rapid fire uh, sonic booms. The way he does this is by using the same technique as you know doing tackle tackle headbutt. So you would do uh, you would hold back, forward to back, and then short, and then continue it from there. So 
hold hold down back, forward forward and back, and then and then short. And then as as soon as it gets about halfway, you can throw the second you can throw the second sign and boom. So and then as soon as the, the last one hits, you just continue. And then you go from back to forward, back to forward, back to forward, back to forward, and you get the rapid fire. So I'm sure you KDs would want to go into training mode right now and try it right now, but you know, <laughs> that's how you do it. So, <laughs> um, so. ah, no, no, another another form of a. Uh, yeah, it's the, it's the same thing with Q too. So, for example, with this corner combo, mm, you'll see. Ah. So, it's strong, strong. Ah. Ah, this so back to forward to back, strong, and then do it again, and then you get the second one. Oops. Ah. And then you get a, ton a free tone afterwards. I mean, you could do two two jab, two jab uh, dash punches, but I prefer to do. Uh, yeah, it, it can it can be you can fierce. It's it's kind of difficult though, and I'm pretty sure it's character specific for for some characters. Like you can do this on Makoto for sure. Um, no, you do you do strong dash punch. But you have to time it right into the fierce. Like that. So. Ah, missed it. Uh, so it's strong dash and a fierce dash, and you should get it. It should be the same for the other characters too, like uh, Makoto or something. So, so that's that's one form of a uh, charge buffering. That's not remember that that's charge buffering, not charge positioning. Charge positioning is what you do with uh, Yuri, where you dash up and then you do the the normal into a into a charge move. So, so for example, another another form of charge positioning is charging with the normals. So for example with Chun Li she can charge her her lightning legs. So you'll see that every time for example every time when, when MOV plays he would do a uh, low round us and then dash up and do lightning legs. What he does is he does low round us, charges it dashes up and then press the rest. Like that. Because, hmm. as you can see, it takes about five. Four or five, uh, four or five roundhouses to do to do the lightning legs. So one, two, one, two, three. So one, two, one, two, three. Ah. One, two. One, two, one, two, three. 
One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. And you can also short you can also store it after that too. So ah. Come on. You can also do the same thing with uh, EX too. So. Another thing he does is actually walk up lightning licks too. So you'll see that uh, he would do something like, like low forward super. Like that, as you can see, he walk. You know, I walked a little bit back and forth, and then I did the lightning legs, because you you can probably hold it for a little bit. You can hold it for a little bit and then let it go, and you'll get the. Uh, basic setup that he does is this head stomp short he presses 2 in the air and then dashes up and does 3 so that's the basic way that he does it so he does 1 2 1 2 3 That's that's another form of charge petitioning. So, one two, one two three. Uh, one two, one two, one two three. 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 So. That's basically another form of charge positioning. Um, I don't, I don't know if other characters can do that too. I'm not sure if they even have that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's another form of charge positioning that's that's useful, really, really useful. So.